Hi everybody, it's Ann Patchett at Parnassus Books and it's Friday and if you haven't read this book, it's new to you. Today, we're going to talk about The Things They Carried by Tim O'Brien. I have been in so many cocktail party conversations in my life in which people try to explain to me that this is a book of nonfiction. And I always say, it, no, it's not a book of nonfiction. It's absolutely fiction. And then people are like, no, it's not. I hate it when people say that to me. Um, the question is, what exactly is it? Usually when you have a book, it will say stories or a novel or a memoir under it, but things they carry doesn't say any of those things. I would call it an interconnected group of short stories, but whatever works. It's a book about Vietnam. It has sold over 2 million copies since it was first published in 1990. It's a remarkable, moving, awakening book. But the reason that it came back on my radar lately is because Tim O'Brien was inducted into the American Academy of Arts and Letters. And the American Academy has this great program where if you're a member, they send you a book of the new member and they have the new member write a little letter to all of the members when the book comes. And I'm gonna read you Tim O'Brien's letter because it's fascinating and the perfect explanation. Author's note. The Things They Carried is a work of fiction that roams about in the cloudy and contested world between story truth and happening truth. The book has been described as semi-autobiographical. It is not. Other than a few details lifted from my own life, the book's events and characters are wholly invented, although with the hope that readers might believe otherwise. The notion of truth itself, its tenuous and fragile mutability, is the book's core subject, Tim O'Brien. So the next time you are at a cocktail party and someone is droning on about how, in fact, the things they carried is a work of nonfiction about Vietnam, tell them you're wrong. I heard it from Tim O'Brien. Thanks so much.